Good morning ladies and gentlemen. Today we are going to discuss survey research and we will discuss also longitudinal surveys and cross-sectional surveys. Ladies and gentlemen, characteristic of surveys. In survey research, the researcher selects a sample of respondents and administers a questionnaire or conducts interviews to gather data which are then used to describe the populations. Surveys are used to learn about attitudes, beliefs, opinions, behaviors, to name a few. Surveys are often used because researchers can gather accurate information about a large number of people using a small sample. Those who have both surveys as a research tool and survey research as a research design. This is should be underlined yeah we have survey as two roles the first role is survey as a research tool and the second role survey research as a research design you have to know that yeah okay let's go to the example of survey research on the descriptive studies, we can use this example of topic. What is the average length of time teachers use to prepare the lessons? Yeah, if we would like to know, if we would like to describe the time teachers use to prepare lesson, we use survey for many teachers, 10 teachers. 20 teachers, it depends on the population you use and the sample you use. This is a descriptive studies. How about the relationship studies? This is the topic. Is there a relationship between teacher attitudes toward discipline and student satisfaction with the class? Of course, we need a survey to gather the data to draw the conclusion whether there is a relationship between teachers' attitudes towards discipline and student satisfaction. Yeah. And the explanatory studies? Why are students in one school achieving better than similar students in another school? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, from these three example studies, we can know that survey studies can be used as a tool of research. Yeah? Survey studies can be implemented in descriptive studies, relationship studies, explanatory studies, and other studies who need a descriptive of a data. Yeah? The studies who need a data to know the fact, to know the relationship, and others. What is the advantage of using the survey? The first one is versatile, of course. The second is efficiency. The third, generalizability, can be generalized. Yeah. And then the fourth, cost effectiveness. Fifth, small samples. Provide for reliable and extrapolation of results. Yeah, you know we need or you need to use this survey because of these advantages. Okay, now let's go to longitudinal surveys. In a longitudinal surveys, studies in which the same groups of subjects are studied over time. Longitudinal, yeah. Longitudinal is long, long studies. It means that you need a long time, a period of time, yeah, to know the data to draw the conclusion. Trend studies use the same population across time but use different samples from that population time. Cohort studies examine specific groups. Panel studies are cohort studies that use the sample, same sample each time. 
longitudinal survey surveys that should be implemented uh, what is that in period of time yeah several time sequence of time not only once two or th three times but maybe every day yeah every every week every month every years to know the factual data yeah so we we, we call it as longitudinal survey because of because of the time period of time use in the study is uh, long yeah long 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 time the second one is cross-section surveys. In the cross-section surveys, we try to attempt to simulate longitudinal data in a shorter time frame. Data are gathered from multiple samples of the same population simultaneously. It may be used to study a phenomenon at one time or to gather data from multiple tribes at the same time. Contrary to longitudinal survey, cross-sections attempt to simulate longitudinal data in a shorter time frame. Data are gathered from multiple samples, same population simultaneously, and then to study a phenomenon at n one time. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the difference between longitudinal surveys and cross-sectional surveys lay on the time used if we use longitudinal survey we use it in sequence of time period of time it could be one month three months one year multi-year but in cross-section survey we just only survey the subject of research just only once two or three times Okay, we have notes on surveys. You need to know it advance how the data will be used rather than fishing for whatever's out there. Data collection methods may vary, but they must be standardized. Of course, yeah, we cannot just only taking note from uh, what is that observation or or what we call it. Mm observation taking a data and then interviews without any standard of data gathering we have to use standardization to gain a validity and reliability yeah? whether your data gathered is valid whether your data gathered is reliable the third instruction should be clear yeah because if you have interview or some others you use blur instruction it will result a bias data if we if we result bias data we will draw a bias conclusion and not straight to the point so we will we will have wrong conclusion yeah and the third both the instruction and survey should be pilot tested before we do this instrument instrument and before we have a survey the tools should be tested before yeah or we call it always in in, in the research pre-research or preliminary studies to test uh, whether this method of data gathering and the method of of tested is valid or not because a typical response rate to small email only survey is only 40 to 60 percent follow-up should be conducted when respondents may introduce bias okay so we have advantages on the surface here but we have to aware about what is that the disadvantages of the weakness of 
not, not the weakness, what we call it. Yeah, we have to aware yeah, about the survey. If we do, if we do not uh, apply these notes, we will draw another conclusion. And we will have a misinterpretation of the data. If we misinterpret misinterpreted the data, we will have wrong conclusion. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's enough for today. Thank you so much for your attention. See you in another topic discussed. Discussed. Dadah.